All right, check it out. Something a little bit different today. You saw the thumbnail. I hope you enjoyed my uh, Chipotle bowl uh, video that I launched uh, hopefully earlier today or yesterday. Not sure when this one's going to see the light of day, but I came across something on Instagram on the... Um, Glitch Seasons uh, Instagram, where they reported on a perfectly preserved Taco Bell receipt from 1999 was found in a library book. So you know what I had to do? It had three food items and one beverage. So I went to my local Taco Bell, got the exact items as close as possible, because one item one item uh, is not offered anymore, and I know a lot of people want it back, but we're going to check it out, check out the uh, serving size, and we're going to check out the price comparison to 1999 Taco Bell to 2024 Taco Bell, and uh, that's what we're doing today, a little investigative journalism. No, I mean, maybe a little? I don't know. All right, we're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so back in 1999, it was actually May 18th, uh, 1999, at 129 in the afternoon, uh, somebody ordered a chili cheese burrito, not offered anymore. That was 99 cents. One taco... I'm guessing it was a hard shell taco. I went with the soft shell taco. They're the same price. Uh, that was 69 cents back in 99. One order of nachos, 69 cents back in 99. And one 16 ounce Pepsi, which is the equivalent to one small Pepsi. So I don't normally drink Pepsi. So it's still the same price. I went with a 16 ounce Baja Blast right there. And I went with the same three items from this spot. So right here is one of them. Right here is two of them. That's I'm pretty sure that's the taco. And then here is the nachos. Here are the nachos. So the nachos, I'll throw it up on screen. I'm trying to go by memory. I think the nachos were $2.49 compared to $0.69. Cents. Uh, so there are the nachos two dollars and 49 cents so that's almost two dollars more um from 1999 let's take a little sip and uh, cleanse the palate of the i don't know what the price was on this oh i have everything right here hold on i got a cheat sheet the nachos were two dollars and 99 cents two dollars and 99 cents that small drink was 2.49 yikes Compared to what? Compared to 89 cents. So here's the soft taco. Again, 69 cents back in 99. And we have $1.69 in 2024. So there you go. And last but not least, like I said, they ordered the chili cheese burrito. And that thing was 99 cents. A lot of people want that back online. So the closest thing they had for $1.49, which is only, what, 50 cents more, is the cheesy bean and rice burrito, which is right here. Yeah. So everything I got today with tax was $9.44. And she's like, would you like to round up the help? Something about the kids. And I said, sure. So $9.44 compared to, I think it was three and change before tax, a $7 difference from 1999. So we're looking at 25 years. Is that what we all kind of think in our head is, you know, uh, we think in our head is like normal cost of living and things like that. And I know 2024, we're in the year of, we know what we're in the year of with these prices. Uh, let's take a bite of each while you guys kind of mull over this. And um, is all this food worth $9.44? I'm getting three items and a small drink. I know they have a lot of other like boxes and special meals on there and probably things you can kind of put together that I might enjoy more because I don't really get the nachos. I don't really get the uh, soft tacos too often. 
but um, I'm sure you could probably put something together or get one of the uh, Taco Bell meals and uh, you're gonna pay under 944. So right off uh, Jump Street, I don't think this is uh, such a great deal. I'm not calling it a deal. I don't know why I said that. I'm not saying this is a deal. I just wanted to replicate what I saw in that little um, news article. So let's take a bite of, what are these again? This is the cheesy bean and rice burrito. Did they get that much tortilla back in 1999? <laughs> Gonna need two or three bites just to even get to the uh, center of a Tootsie Pop right there. All right, here's a soft taco. One more time. Yeah. If you got it, it's scratch it. That's Taco Bell personified right there with the uh, soft taco. Now we go to the $3 nachos. Yeah. Is that worth $3? I mean, it looks like it's like a decent amount of stuff. All right. There's their, their guacamole just has a tint to it. There's just a tint to their guac, which very green. It's very dark green, like uh, olive green. Already a little mushy. Yeah. So there you go. I don't know. I just thought it would be interesting. Instead of just looking uh, all this information up, I decided to go there and have it physically in front of me and be like, Nine dollars and forty-four cents, compared to maybe four dollars um, after tax back in '99. The best thing. Here we go in order: Baja Blast one, Soft Taco two, the Cheesy Bean and Rice Burrito three, Nachos four. I don't, I don't have to give this a rating. This is kind of just a public service announcement. And it was a cool little article uh, kind of talking about that perfectly. And it was like, you know, when you put a receipt in a book, it was perfectly preserved, no creases, perfect. All the ink stayed. It was really, really um, preserved nicely, like a little Taco Bell fossil. And uh, it was very interesting to see. I've seen a couple of those uh, here and there over the years, but this one really stuck out to me and I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's hit up Taco Bell and uh, kind of give the people a little story and do a little, uh, like I said, investigative journalism. So I'm using that term loosely. But um, hope you enjoyed this video. That was not worth $9.44 from Taco Bell, in my opinion. But $3 and change before tax back in 1999. Yes, please. Um, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, that's it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Light up the comments on all your thoughts about this little story and uh, video, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews.